it's Oli so I want to show you just a quick guide how to get the graphics like in the intro so first thing you're gonna need is uh, content manager I posted the all the links in the description so just follow them and download and do as I do I will not go through the whole installation part because there is enough videos on YouTube that show you this but I will give you a quick overview what you need to do so First thing you need is Content Manager. Just uh, go download directly. You'll get this and go for your asset across folder. Usually it's in C. Programs, Steam, Steam Apps, common, then asset across. Copy paste that and extract this there. You can also extract it to the desktop. That's what I did. So I have the Content Manager in my on my desktop. Just run Content Manager and it will ask you where is uh, the, the main path for the Assetto Corsa original game. So you just give him this path and this uh, exe and it will ask you some more questions but I think you can they are self-describing. After you've done this you will have this program that's the Content Manager to get custom shaders patch Go here to settings, you will have in the top left the manager settings, the original game settings and all the extensions for custom shaders patch. This will be empty, so you get this from here, it's the next link, just download the newest version or I will post a second link, that's where the, his Patreon site is. There you will get the newest version, which is obviously better. After you download this, we'll have uh, this file, this file, and you can just drag and drop this into Content Manager anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in Settings or if you're in Drive. Just drop it here, and when you're done, you will see here this will turn green. You open it, there will be a custom shaders patch, you click install and it will be installing and after that you will see this overview. Um, you see I have some custom settings here, changed little things, although the red things are changed from standard. Of course in uh, general patch settings change some things as well and in the video settings. So. I will give you my preset, I will upload it upload it, and um, give you the link to download it. Then you can just go here and take the take the only preset if you want to have the graphics just like me. Next part. Next part will be Sol. That's um, yeah. the next thing. You can just download it will get this file. It's again pretty, uh, pretty basic. Just drag and drop it into your set the Corsa root folder. I think you can even put it into uh, drag and drop it into content manager and it will install it. There's not much you can do wrong. Maybe afterwards you can uh, go here and uh, check some weather scripts. I think it's in weatherfx. Yeah, here you can then choose the sole controller script and weather script and of course when you go to drive now you will have the ability to have to choose between those weathers no, that's the sole weathers different kinds they will come with the pack pretty basic next thing is a little bit special it's not a must-have but I think it refines it maybe from the last two or three percent that the game needs to look awesome it's Sweeterfix 1.5, links in the description.
just go click here and it will start downloading we'll get this and you just put all this and again like all the time extract to a set of cursor good for them yeah after that you can download this preset i think it's pretty nice and gives a bit more lightning effects just click download preset you will get a um, txt file so you will have a txt file um, they have a different name than uh, sweetfx underscore settings so you take whatever it's named like we pretend this one is the thing we just downloaded we put it in the set of course main folder again and we it will look like this so just control and a to mark all and put it into copy and then we paste it into the the thing we just opened like this uh, suite of x settings you will get when you downloaded suite of x 1.5 before so here you again press Control A and you paste with Control V into the folder and this will load the new settings you just downloaded. That's the preset. There's nothing more you can do. Um, there's it's just a slight difference between uh, SweetFX and not SweetFX. So don't don't care. Maybe it will look like it's uh, still um, like before, but it's just two or three percent better looking. So the next thing we need, which is what does the the difference, you will reload reshade. It's for free. Download, 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 and. Now you can just go through the installation. There are some tutorials on YouTube if you have problems with it. Just select all uh, plugins if you ask me. You don't need everything, but I would. They, they don't take much space, so just choose them and install Reshade. After that, I will upload my Reshade, my Reshade preset. Uh, which looks like a INI file, I think. Yes, yeah, here it is. You see, I have uh, some more presets for the reshade. It's uh, RTGI, that's the, the ray tracing from Marty McFly. Uh, some different reshade presets. You can just put them, like all the time, in your Assetto Corsa root folder. And when you have it here, and you open reshade in game you can select the preset i will show you how this works see you in a minute so now you press position one and this will open and now you can just select the any files you want and you take the, the only one and you can play around with it always keep in mind that the graphics depend on uh, what daytime you have chosen, what map you have chosen because of different light sources and what car you have and so many more things. So it's just a preset. It's not up, um, not, not the best for, for every situation, every car, every track. But it should work out. You can play around with uh, especially the, the, the filmic pass, which does a lot. And press 6 on the numpad, I think it is, to activate and deactivate it. So you can see I'm on, off, on, off, on, off. On, off, on, off. It doesn't do much, but it does something. Like I said, the last few presents are SweetFX and the reshade. And before I forget it, the PP filter I use is the photographic one. On between 60 and 80 exposure depending on the track and the daytime. For the replays I use this. So you open up Cam Tool. It will appear here. Go to settings, load, then you load the 
preset and this will be white when you start it. You press on off button so it becomes active. And now you will have the better track cameras like in the preset. And that's how you get my graphics. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I will answer them as fast as possible.